Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash malicious compliance. In today's episode. Is this what you want? Fine. The customer is always right. Wanna see my camera roll? Sure, hope it won't make you sick. Resignation must be in writing. No problem. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Is this what you want? Fine. The customer is always right. I drive for Uber in the Dallas area and I received a ride request. I picked up the gentleman and it was a good ride. About five minutes in the rider asked me what was on my rear view mirror. I told him it was my interior cam. He got mad and told me to turn it off because he didn't like such surveillance. I reminded him that the Uber app would have said there was video recording. There are also signs on the door. He could have declined booking the trip if there was a problem. It escalated when he yelled, you better turn that thing off or else. Or else, I asked. Yes, was the reply. Turn it off or stop this trip. I verified with him his request and he said, yes, turn the thing off or end this trip, to which I said, fine. Have it your way. I will comply. At that, I exited the highway and pulled into a convenience store. He acted a bit stunned before shouting, what the hell are you doing? I calmly stated, you said either I stop recording or I end the trip. As I have no intention of stopping the recording I am letting you out here. That did not go well for him as he started screaming and hurling vituperative abuse beginning with, F, questioning my parentage. I calmly ended the trip as per his request. That was the compliance. Here's the maliciousness, which although I'm very capable of I rarely do. When ending the trip on the app, I gave him a one-star rating as we can't give a zero. As he really was getting on my last nerve I added feeling unsafe and abusive rider. As he continued to rant, I pointed to a police car that just pulled in and told him, if you don't leave my car immediately then perhaps you might want to explain why not to that nice officer. After getting a few more cutting jabs and getting out, he tossed his open protein drink at my head hitting the headrest and spilling all over the floorboard. It was that time I got a text message from Uber support asking if I was alright. I said I was. They told me his account was suspended and asked if I could send the video clip to him. I said I would and also mentioned the mess. Uber support told me to just send them a picture and he would be charged a $75 cleaning fee, which I got within an hour. So I did exactly what the rider wanted but due to his petulant behavior he got a cancelled Uber account and it cost him $75. If he would have just left, I wouldn't have done a thing but play stupid games. Win stupid prizes. Wanna see my camera roll? Sure, hope it won't make you sick. I was riding a train and playing on my phone. I must have held it suspiciously, because the dude across from me suddenly told me to stop taking pictures of him. I wasn't, and I told him so. He didn't believe me. It went back and forth, him demanding to delete the pictures, me insisting there weren't New York pictures of him to delete. Then he said, okay show me the camera roll. And I swear if one of the pictures is of me. And I said, you definitely don't want to see this. And him, nice try, but it won't work. Show me or I will call the train personnel. Okay sir, if you really insist. See? I was traveling back from a festival, and I had lost one of my toenails after being barefoot in the mosh pit, smart move, I know, and had taken a pic of my empty, slightly mangled nail bed. I even clicked on it in order to enlarge, laughing face. Well let's just say he wasn't pleased. He didn't throw up or anything, 
but looked pretty disgusted and didn't say anything and avoided my gaze for the rest of the ride. Edit. Only one person called bullshit, but if anyone else is interested, I can show you my mangled toe lol. I didn't save the original pic, but I have one I took a few days after to show friends the carnage, laughing face. Resignation must be in writing. No problem. Worked part-time at Home Depot while in high school back in the late 90s. After dealing with a horrible manager for a long time I finally had enough and told her that at the end of the current schedule, I was going to be quitting. She said, I need that in writing, you'll need to bring in a letter, to which I told her I didn't have a computer at home, can I use one of the ones here? No, you'll have to go to the library or find some other way. Asked again if there's any way they could just let me use one of the store computers and was told, it's your responsibility to figure this out on your own personal time, sure, no problem. I pulled my pen and notepad out of my apron, this was a summer Saturday afternoon at the checkout so lots of people around, and proceeded to write my resignation letter. Dear Tammy. I quit effective immediately. Love. Aaron took my apron off and walked out. She was so shocked she just stood there and couldn't come up with anything to say. I heard from a few people about a year later that it was still being talked about. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.